arrived in Egypt, I could hardly contain my excitement. Egypt for me is a dream come true. I'm in Egypt. The Nile River flows through 10 different countries. It flows through Upper Egypt, through the whole country, and empties into the Mediterranean Sea. The most important thing in all of Egypt is the Nile River, one of the greatest rivers in the world. If you look at a map, you would imagine that the Nile River flows from north to south. But actually, because of the country's topography, it flows from south to north. Great Egyptian cities grew along the Nile. The Nile provided food, water, soil, and transportation. A long time ago, the Nile used to flood every year. People were so excited when the Nile flooded. All the crops got watered, and they didn't even have to water them. It used to be that the Nile River would flood about the same time every year. But now, the river flooding is being controlled by the Aswan Dam. There's so much beautiful farmland. What an incredible place this is. Fun fact, most Egyptians live by the Nile because most of the country is desert. Along the Nile River, it's nice and green. It makes sense, humans need water to survive. Some people that we interviewed even said that the Nile River was really clean and that they drank from it. Think about all the ways you use water in a given day. Wouldn't it make sense if this precious commodity was protected? But today, there's so many people and so much pollution. So many places that we went in Egypt, we saw trash lining the Nile River. It's sad when we see so much trash on the banks of a great Nile. I worry about all the fish and crocodiles and the animals that are affected by the pollution. I think we can do better. We have to protect the rivers of our world. It's important for us as humans and also for animals. It's really simple. Reduce, reuse, recycle. We took a boat called a Feluca along the Nile. I love that Felucas are powered by wind energy. This doesn't create any pollution. Beautiful and calm. This was how the world was meant to be explored. This is a special boat in Egypt. It's actually a small sailboat with a big sail. They used to take these boats from Cairo all the way to Luxor. That's a journey of over five days. People swim in the Nile. They wash their clothes. They drink from it. We have a friend whose child was playing in the Nile. And when he came out, his hands had boils and blisters. I don't know. It seems like the Nile is very polluted. What's my job as a child in protecting our world's rivers? What would happen if the 10 countries who depended on the Nile River didn't have it anymore? The Nile's beautiful. Sadly, so many people put trash in the river. It makes the river stinky and yuck. We should never, ever throw our trash in a river or a sea. This is where the Nile meets the sea. We made it to the mouth of the Nile River. This is where the Nile meets the Mediterranean. Look how big it is. We're right in the heart of the delta. A delta is usually found at the end of a big river. This is where the Nile ends. Goodbye for now from Adventure Family Journal.